Hello, so it's been a while since I made a video, but today I want to talk to you guys about the clinical experience at Kent State University program. This is the most important part of the program, so stay tuned. Uh, there's a lot of content specifically on this, so I wanted to break it down into two videos. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about, you know, what is the clinical experience, what do you do, and the site that, or basically where do you do these clinical experiences. And then the second video I wanted to talk to you guys about how you're monitored throughout the clinical experience. So let's get into it. What is the clinical experience? It's where you mentor, job shadow, intern, and athletic trainer for an extended period of time. Now you're scheduled to do these clinical experiences Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Classes are scheduled Tuesday and Thursday. Now, basically, you do the clinical experience 12 to 15 hours per week for a minimum of 180 hours. They recommend you to do as much uh, as you can. So maybe you'll be topping at 200, maybe 220, depending on how many hours you do each week. Now, you do this at least four to five semesters, and I think we'll probably reach around a thousand hours of clinical experience in total. Now, basically, what do you do? So you do what an athletic trainer does. It just also depends on the different sites, right? So you do rehabs, you might do re evals, you might do strength and exercises for athletes to prevent injuries, you might do some ankle tapes. Um, but basically, Again, it all just depends on the site. So for me, for high school football, uh, that was my first clinical experience. I just watched, you know, the practices and games. And then for, you know, my second rotation, John Carroll University, basically uh, I just watched a lot of uh, rehabs and saw the progression of an athlete go through from, you know, a concussed to recovering and playing with full contact. Now, basically the rotations are, and I didn't mention this before, but basically the rotations are three weeks or eight weeks. And for me, um, I had a three week, eight week, and another uh, three week schedule. So basically, you know, I go to Elliot for the first three weeks, and then now I'm at John Carroll, and then next week I'm going to Akron Children's Hospital for the remainder of the semester. So we'll kind of see how hospital setting is and what an athletic trainer does in that setting. Now, for the sites, basically the sites are, you know, high school and mostly around the Kent area, Streetsboro area, and Akron. Uh, and then colleges, D2, D3, like Walsh University or John Carroll University, uh, clinicals, hospitals, they're doing fine arts and military. I believe they're pushing for professional as well, but we'll see how that happens. Now, I don't think we are, um, are going to be scheduled for any Kent State University athletics. So just to be prepared for that. Uh, but I'll let you guys know if we are and if I'm um, doing that at all. I don't think we are scheduled or going to be scheduled for those. So and with that in mind, it's going to be um, about a 30 minute to an hour drive. Um, many of the classmates that I have are driving about an hour every day to their sites uh, to get that experience. So you have to have a reliable and durable car while you're here, you're gonna be driving a lot. All right, so today I talked to you guys about, you know, what is a clinical experience? What do you do? And the sites that are located at Kent State University program and where do you do these clinical experiences? All right, in the next video, I'll talk to you guys about how it's monitored. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.